Boop. Is that alright? Sketching today. Let me get uh, bring up some reference here. Where are we? Um, Dropbox workshop cuts. Okay. What should we draw? A garbage truck today. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Try to model the garbage truck. Let's see. Hello, Alexander. Let me put this over here. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to model this thing. Let's just see. Let's do it. Actually, I'll go over to uh, my reference area here. Bring this in. Okay. Let's see. Get this mouse out of the way. Ah. Let's see how far we can get in before lunchtime. Hello, Eddies. I'm going to try to model this thing quickly here. A little warm up. Let's see. I should probably make this blue and uh, see I'll duplicate this bring it over here and I'm trying to get this area here which if you think of it is just a rectangle hey Didi so it's a rectangle, and then it's got this cut here. Just bevel that. And it's got this action over here, I think. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. It is, okay, and then let me remove that. Let me see a shortcut. that extrude that out and let's see mirror it Maybe like this <laughs> yep good luck Yeah, I need to I feel like I'm going all out on Blender this year. It is the year of Blender. For me, at least. Okay. Is that about here? Let's see. I'll hit P to separate that. 
and it looks to me like there's some sort of, uh, there's a cut uh, going this way at an angle. Like that. Let's see. You can do live cut. Ah, oh, why doesn't that work? Oh, this is probably why. Let's see. Can we do control B live subtract? No? Why not? Let's see what's going on here. Get rid of that cutter, get rid of this cutter. Okay, control B live subtract. What? What are these shenanigans right here? I want this to cut out of this. Why won't you let us cut? Okay, regular subtract works. Why doesn't live subtract work? And where the hell are all these cutters coming from? Is what's screwing this up. Let me see here. Let me try that again. Live subtract. Hmm. Okay, so the mirror the mirror is screwing that up definitely. I need to get back in there and fiddle around with that. Let me write that down. Five subtract mirror. Blender's been changing a lot recently guys, so all this stuff that's is just constantly breaking. <laughs> so anyway. Let's see. DD says maybe next year I have minimum skills to take the course. Uh, well, I don't know, man. It's uh, don't really need any skills to take my course. It is a, it is a foolproof method, supposedly. I think. All right, so I'll mirror this one here. Let's go to back to my. Or was it image? I want to see that. But yeah, it would be great to have you in class at some point in the year. I'll try to keep this thing running. So what about, hmm. This is kind of interesting because it looks like a flat cut here and a flat cut here, but then up here it's round, and down here it's round. So, that is neat. Let's see. I think what it could be, hmm, what if we do it like this? We could make this part flat, and then make this part round, all the way around. So we, we're just going to do the whole thing round. Oh, and back here is also a flat cut. Interesting. Hmm. So what I really need is just this, a plain old rectangle here. So let me do this again. Let me do this again. I need to rethink this whole shape back here because they're doing some tricky, tricky shit. Let's see. So here and here, B, S. So we want a flat 
piece and then we can cut it using something like this for the front. Let's see. Overbuild and then chop away like this. All right. P to separate these two. Let me save this also as a trash truck. Where's my... Oh, it's not even 2018 anymore. Ooh, brand new. First one. Of 2019. Here we go. Okay, control B. Live subtract. Does that work? Control B, live subtract. No, it doesn't work. What about regular subtract? Yes. What about this kind of subtract? Why the hell is it doing that? I think I need to turn off... Th Something funny is going on with mirrors now. Because they changed the bisect direction. That must be it. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I, I think I know what the problem is, but... Okay, so this angle is like right under where that chop is. Something like that. And then this part also comes inward. So we're gonna be chopping And then coming inwards a little bit. That's better. Okay, and then the same thing over here, except this is just a straight up circle. like this. I think I can reuse this. I'm just going to chop it away like that. Let's see. This from this. Subtract. Let me smooth out this cutter. There we go. Okay, I think we got that shape. And then this thing has a couple of ribs that go about here. Maybe there's another one here. Something like that. Is there another one? even separate these. Let's see. P to separate them. Now glue these back together. Get rid of that. That way we can see this all with the boolean happening at the same time. Let me get rid of the boolean cuts there. We don't need those cuts. And then there's another one that looks like um, kind of a skewed version. So let's go side view, oops. Control shift space and shear. Give you that skewed version. Oops. This part here goes just straight down, I think. What the hell? Okay. 
Um, flatten that. Flatten that. Okay. Republic services. Right here. Okay. Okay. Wait, what happened to the front? Wait, this is not a cutter. Uh oh. Corners here a little bit. There's a little bit of a flat area at the top. I'll leave that alone. side view and make uh, maybe uh, 32 side This image again, but overall it can have like a detail view and a overall view. Just keep it like that. Hmm. Here, this thing has a little lip. <laughs> it's very chunky. All right, we got this. Front view. Garbage trucks are awesome. It's kind of stinky, but I like to, um, if I see a garbage truck on the street, I'll just try to follow it, <laughs> just to look at it. Because they got so much interesting um, shape and they're just weird. Do a 12 side for the smaller, the smaller detail here. The smaller we go, the lower the resolution. Maybe like that. This needs a new material. Let's say. Um, New. It's gonna be like our gray.
You know what? I think this cut is too big here. Because this bottom proportion here is a little bit longer than the top. I feel like, yeah, a little bit longer on the bottom. And that leaves a wider area on top, which I guess is a hopper for all the trash to go into. So really all this on the top should be a hole, but um, I'll, do, I'll deal with that later because I want to keep the flexibility for right now. New slot. Wheel will be white. Maybe a little bit off white. the this little center area right here hmm I love those little arrows that follow around <laughs> it's kind of cool I'm gonna let's see okay See, so everything in here, I think, is a, a different material. So new slot, or actually remove that new material. A little bit darker, and then this is tire here. New. Tire and uh, tires, I think, are actually kind of shiny. They're just rough. And it, it bulges in the center a little bit, too. So it might be something like that. Actually, I think this bulge here is bigger than the corner. The corner is actually smaller radius right there. That's more like it. And then this area, we've got these little uh, lug nuts. Each lug nut has this neon green thing on it. Greenish yellow. All right. Let's see. I'll get uh, hit Shift H to hide everything, and then go like this, like that. K Z. Oops. K, C, Z. Okay. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, DD, just saw. Um, yep. Trucks, heavy equipment, farm stuff. I don't know. It's irresistible. Do -do, do -do, do -do. The sign. Okay, so all this stuff here. Um, let me hit P to separate that. And go Z, 3D cursor. Okay, our 3D cursor is here. So that means uh, we could duplicate. Hey, it's pretty good. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think this needs to be a little bit smaller. 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, okay. Not bad. Okay, and then same thing with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 12 side. This will go over here. And actually, it's a little bit offset. So let me hit P to separate this. Control Shift D, duplicate radial. And then all these will be uh, just live cutters into here. Actually, let me separate the wheel by itself. I'll hit P, separate it. Go in here, live subtract. Damn it. Let me. Um, let me check my mirror here. There's something funny going on with mirrors. Why won't it let me... Oh, because I don't need a mirror here. Why doesn't it like that? What about without the mirror? Hmm. So it's okay without the mirror, but with the mirror. What? This is confusing. Hello, Tyler. Good morning. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Why the hell doesn't that work? All right. We can also do cuts in the wheels these, the same way. If we say, like, all right, I want a little tiny notch cut out. Like that. Oops. I don't know. This is just like a basic idea of what a tread could be. And then we can do our Oops. Duplicate radial. Actually, let me separate this. P. Duplicate radial. Maybe a little bit less, like 40. See, it doesn't like it when I have a mirror there for some reason. I don't understand. But if I don't have the mirror, then it works. Huh. I guess you need to put this on the tire material too. Or I could just remove all the slots. Oh no. 
guess it needs a tire. Weird. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Right, because when you duplicate stuff, for some reason, Blender leaves. Likes to leave two duplicates at your first... Your origin point of the duplication. Anyway. Hmm. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, DD didn't get what the problem was with the tire holes. I, I don't know what the problem is. It's weird. They just... I gotta figure that out. It just doesn't like to do it with mirrors for some reason. Anyway. Alright, Tyler. Thanks, man. Glad you liked it. Um, yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Spider Verse. Good times. That was an interesting project to work on. They were. It was weird because of the whole drama of the story, but a little bit bittersweet, but still pretty. Uh, excited with how it came out. <laughs> they did a really good job. Um, okay. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Diver. Alright, Cannoneer. Where did you render 4000 RC? That one was rendered in uh, Moto and a little bit of Octane also. So Moto na native render and Octane. Let me make this less rough. So maybe this piece here. Let me see. All of this crap here. I'm going to put this into a tire collection. So M, new collection, uh, or wheel collection, sorry. And this can go into main, I guess. And then I'll try to um, go shift A, collection instance, wheel. And why the hell is it showing up over there? Oh, so this needs to be a zero, zero, zero. Scale negative one. Alt D. Alt D again. There we go. So, whatever we do here should affect these other buddies. All right. Oh, thanks, DD. Uh, Robert says, I like to get into plain air painting, but instead of gouache, use tempera. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't used tempera. Is that, is that the egg one? or? I don't know how, how what the difference is exactly. But I don't think it matters. Just whatever you got, bring it outside and it should work. Bring what you got. All right, we are crossing the halfway mark here, so I need to get cracking. There's a lot of, uh, let's see, maybe uh, the 24 side here. I don't know if you guys can hear my uh, 
neighbor playing piano. But it's kind of nice. I get a little mini concert here almost every day. be good to have a frame in here at some point probably Let's go to wire view so we can see what the frame looks like probably separate this off Joe Bombs, we are making this beautiful truck right here. I'm trying to figure out the frame. Probably the bumpers included here with the frame. these guys here. Oh shoot, and they're also dumped dually. Uh-oh. <laughs> I screwed this up. Can we mirror these? Damn it, can't mirror these. Okay, I think this this back part is way bigger than what I have it here. Yeah, I think I screwed that up. It's more like that. Bigger, maybe it is bigger than that actually. Ooh, I really, really. Uh, huh. Man, those proportions are way off. This truck is huge.
All right, so now that makes a little bit more sense, I think. tighter there so that these these need to come inboard of the frame like that and then we have uh, some mud flap action <coughs> like so let's make this blue new slot This part goes up a little bit. I'll say separate the mud flap. Let's see. Let's get a closer look here. Yeah. Okay. It's actually like this. I think. Something like that. <coughs> oh. All right. We're running out of time here. Let me. I got to get as much impact out of time we've got. Here, I think the frame needs a little bit of action. Right there. Then it goes down again. I guess to, <coughs> I guess to accommodate the the cab up there it just dips down again this actually has some meat under it like that make that blue I need to find a back view of this truck too at some point. Oh yeah, also this cut here, we could use this same piece here to cut that out, I think. Well, maybe I'll make a copy of this one because we need we need this to go um, a little bit farther. Maybe like that. And then this should be able to cut out of that. Fucking A, the mirrors are not working here. You know what it is, I think? Let me see. Wait, no. Why would this disappear? Okay, 
There, it worked. But without the mirror. I gotta figure that out. And why is this, uh, leaving a hole there? Oh, because I got a hole over here. If I fill that in, it should fix that. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how far this goes. If it goes all the way through. Maybe it does. Oh, thanks, Alex. Alexander. Um, Jerry says, do you prefer working from photos rather than orthos? Yeah, I don't really work from orthos. Um... Check another pick of the truck for reference. Yeah, I need to find a rear view here. Uh, hello everywhere. Hello Dominic. I love you, no homo. Ditto. <laughs> it says tempera is a bit more cheap than gouache until I understand how to use it. Yeah, I mean, go for it. You should, you should try it or just Use any paint. Use watercolor, gouache, acrylic even. Oh. Postal Pete says, put a human figure in there like Manuel Bastioni Lab. I need to download that. Is, is there a version of this for 2.8? Actually, I'm going to look this up. Because that would be really nice. Um, manual bastoni lab. Hey, US votes. Um, I don't, I haven't run into a lamp limit yet. Have you, have you found that? <laughs> How many lights are you putting in your scene, man? <laughs> That's amazing. Broke Evie so quickly. Um, let's see. I think there's there should be a couple little cylinders in here. I'll just make them eight-sided because they're uh, tiny. You have like 80 to 100 lights. What? What are you? What? Oh. How is your computer alive right now? <laughs> That's crazy. What do, you, what do you need so many lights for? Another th another thing you can. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll just. I'm excited to see what your your scene looks like <laughs> next week. That's crazy. Oh man. My computer's probably gonna catch on fire if if we open that scene. But see, I mean, uh, honestly though, that's that's a lot to ask out of Evie. Uh, I would try to make it less so, somehow or fake it somehow. You could you could try faking it by just having um instead of having lights everywhere, just try with 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 the uh, emission instead like glow so having 80 to 100 of, of these kind of lights is is fine but actual lights the, these are a lot cheaper or faster because they don't really cast any shadows but our regular lights do take a lot of um, comp computation because they're casting our shadows so where is my light anyway? Yeah, it's these 
these shadows that take up a lot of um, time, especially if you turn on soft shadows, it's going to get really, really slow. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a tough ask. <laughs> you might... But I mean, if you're just looking for reflections, then these lights are cheaper. That's that's what I'm saying. For reflections, these lights are cheaper. So you could have, like, one of these lights for shadows, and then a bunch of those other lights for reflections. Or you could make a big area light here instead. Um, like this to get your soft shadows. And then, I don't know. I don't think I can help you. You're just, you're, you're a mad scientist. Those soft shadows do look good, though. Gotta say. Somebody is singing opera now. I think my neighbor is singing opera, or maybe his friend has come over. Do you guys hear that? So let's do more samples here. Oh, God, that's a lot. All right, what, uh, oh my god, I have a couple minutes left. I don't even have the arm in here. These have to go to the hopper. Uh. <sighs> oh, man. And then the trash can. Would be good to have a trash can in here somewhere. You guys hear it? You hear the opera? He's he's playing piano and singing. I got free opera here. Um Actually, it's it's kind of quiet now. Never mind. Oh no, running out of time. Okay, this needs to go over the hopper, right here. And then as well, there's um, there's this sort of uh, rubber bib that goes around it.
All right. Let's go out like that. I'll just knife it here. Pretty sloppy. This can be rubber. I'm just going to do like a cheapo version right now because uh, I'm out of time here. But ideally you'd want to set this up better. Gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Ugh. Ah, I want to do these cuts too. Yeah.
There we go. So there's one cut, and then I need to do another cut for the the windows. And actually, this should have some thickness to it. Let's go solidify. And actually, when I have the solidify, that means I can get rid of that. If I put the solidify all the way up top. All I gotta do now is uh, duplicate this. So I'll go Alt D, and um, I'll say intersect here. Oop. Intersect. There it is. All right, and then this one can be a uh, different material. Oh shit. Um, unlink data block. Does that work? No. How do you unlink materials again? This one. This one. There it is. Okay, glass. Roughness. Alright, anyway guys, I think that's it for me today. Um, I'm going to... I don't know, this is kind of a fun little exercise. I think I might try to keep going on this in the future. But, uh, yeah, let's see. What do we got here? Guess who started working at Starbucks? Feeling kind of bad that I'm not moving forward in my career. If you're practicing, you're moving forward. True. Yep. Keep working if you need to pay the bills. Keep practicing in your free time. Yeah, man, it's a grind. But, I don't know, maybe you'll get some good stories from Starbucks. That could be like, you know... 
the inspiration for your new comic book or your new movie or whatever. All the crazy people you see at Starbucks. Who knows? Like, uh, who is it? Quentin Tarantino worked at a, a video store for so long, and that's how he... I don't know. Well, I guess that's different, but... <laughs> yeah. Just all, all that stuff can be useful in the future, hopefully. Um... Guts from Berserk. Download link. Yeah, maybe I'll um, put this up somewhere. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Thank you, Tyler Me on that. Do -do -do. Cool. All right, guys. Good luck with your the rest of your day. I mean, not good luck, but have a good rest of your day. Um, and uh, have a good, have a good year, <laughs> New Year. <laughs> Sorry, what am I saying? My brain sucks. Okay. Anyway, guys, have a good day. I will see you next time. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>